Hey ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the UntitledGameShow.com with my Nintendo 3DS and we're about to stream some Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 3DS. As you guys can see in the demo there are five characters, Mario, Link, Marth, Pikachu and Mega Man. Mega Man being the new character in the franchise. My main guy right here is Pikachu, next man up is Marth, I absolutely love this dude as well. Link's eye and Mario's never been my style, but Mario's an all-around good character. I'm streaming this live to Twitch right now. We're gonna play my first hour of the game, or at least until I try out every character and see how they all play a little bit on the Nintendo 3DS. I'm gonna start off this video by stating a few things. One, as you guys might know if you're into my Pokemon videos, my analog nub on my 3DS is really weird out. I kind of messed it up, it could come right off. Anyway, so that's not gonna be really great for me to play with the analog stick. Um, my D-pad, I'm gonna use this for my 3DS is kind of old. So launch day 3DS. Um, I haven't played a Smash Bros. game in a while, but let's get to it anyway. Let's start off with Mega Man. Unfortunately, there is no multiplayer in the game. As some people have stated in the chat, they're looking for people to play with. But unfortunately, you just can't. So I guess I gotta pick my CPUs. Press start. Let's go into random. Let's do this. So this is where it's going to get a little funny because I'm going to keep forgetting that I can look straight ahead to actually play the game instead of actually looking down at my 3DS. So if you guys see me looking down, it's because, well, I'm just used to looking at the 3DS screen instead of looking at the TV. Alright, so let's, do, let's figure out old Mega Man's move. Alright, B is basically his regular attack. Oh crap, I can't play with, I have to play with the analog stick. Ooh, this is going to be hard. Okay, my analog stick is really messed up, so it's going to be hard. You can't use a D-pad for any attacks. You have to actually play with the analog stick. So guys, the reason I'm just jumping around, just trying to get used to everything. Okay, so B is like special attacks. Mega Man's up B is actually springing off of the, um, the dog. See, I didn't look up any previews of this game, so I don't really know anything. And I'm actually very glad that I didn't do that anyways. Ford B is canon, of course. I think I'm going to take off my analog now. I can see where people are saying, like, it's kind of hard to see if you're not looking far away. But the okay, the okay thing for me is the fact that, um, well, I'm going to be able to look at the TV and see how that works. Okay. Okay. So A is basically just your regular attacks. Okay. I should have started with somebody who actually knew their attacks so I could just get the controls down. Why to jump? I keep pressing the D-pad. I wanna I so badly want to play with the D-pad. It's unbelievable. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So he's up A for your regular slash. Alright, so that was a horrible first match. Whatever. First match. I'm going to go ahead and take off my analog nub. Yeah, forget it. It's just not going to work. I would screwed it up so much. How heavily I played this 3DS. So yeah. Only reason I keep using this 3DS is because, well, it's the one with my capture card. I got to deal with it. <laughs> it's the one with my capture card on it. So got to deal with it. So let's take get rid of that. Let's pick Pikachu, somebody I actually know how to play with, so I actually can just learn the actual moves. What did I press? So hold to go back. Oh, the villager's there too, okay. Mario! We're just going to put them down a level real quick just so I can learn everything. And we're going to put four players because it's not Smash if it ain't four. And then... You can't change any of that stuff? Oh, whatever. That kind of sucks. You can't change all that stuff. What am I going to do? I can't change that extra stuff. Damn it. <laughs> 
So, all right, this time I'm going to try to look ahead. I'm actually going to try to look at my um, capture card, which will have the video way bigger. All right, yes. So grab. All right, there we go. All right. All right. All right. Of course, I have to go like up into the bomb like an idiot because I'm Pikachu and I'm an idiot. All right. Get lost. I can't see you, stupid dog. It looks like I'm definitely going to be playing with this in the Wii U because I don't think I can play on this 3DS. The analog stick feels so messed up. It's unbelievable. Like, I'm really fighting with my own analog stick right now. Like... <laughs> All right, throw, throw the weapon. Okay, so the D-pad is taunt. Maybe there's different controls for the... Um, I hope you can do completely con custom controls on the freaking 3DS so I can actually change any button to anything I want. So that would work for me. And this two-minute time limit is not working for me. I could say on a regular 3DS it is kind of small, but actually because I have the um my own personal 3DS capture card playing on the, the computer monitor, I uh, have it at full screen right now. It's pretty damn easy to see everything. How do you grab on this? Okay, that's grabbing. All right, grab works. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. The chipping. I'm going go for us. Yeah. Yeah, controls suck. I really, yeah, they really do. The controls are a little weird. You know what would be kind of ingenious and cool to do? What if they did this, guys? What if they allowed us to connect the Wii U gamepad or something else to the 3DS? Because the game, the Wii U gamepad is almost like a big 3DS in a way, just with one screen. Or like another controller. I mean, you're gonna be able to use the 3DS as a Wii U controller for three uh, Smash Brothers, which makes sense if you get good at playing the 3DS version first. But what if you don't? And you know, for me, like, like guys, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not joking, guys. Look at that. I don't even have the rubber on it. Like, I, I have abused this 3DS. I played over a thousand hours of Pokemon. It's probably at two thousand hours at this point of Pokemon for the 3DS. Um. I played Fire Emblem was my game of the year, so I have played the heck out of my 3DS until this point. <laughs> but let's go ahead and try out some other characters and at least um, try to get into it. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to get better, even with only playing with this little nub. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to be okay. But, hey, I never said I'm a professional Smash player. I ain't going to say I'm going to beat anybody. <laughs> I play with my friends. This is one of those games I've always just played friends I knew. Okay. The computer levels are a little uneven. I thought Mark was available. I guess he wasn't. Link it up. So let's go ahead. We'll do. Let's see what it looks like when it's um. Just two versus two. If the zoom is actually a little better. And once again, I keep looking down at the 3DS when I don't need to do that. All right. So there we go. I have my 3DS capture card at full screen right now there's really nothing to the the bottom screen there's not a lot of information there so there's like really no big use of um keeping it like that it's right there all right this looks awesome this is a great reason to have a 3 ds capture card guys you could host a game i think I think you only could do offline, um, from what I understood. Like, you only could do host a game with somebody near you. No, Link. arrows 
Ah. Get out. Well, it, it, we're, we're playing with items. What I can, it's, there's items. I had to grab it, or else Mario would grab it. Hey, at least the AI is smart enough to stay out of that one. <laughs> All right, grabs works. There we go. Get up. The game looks great. I'll say that. I don't know how the stream looks on YouTube, but the game looks absolutely awesome for a 3DS game. It's one of the better looking 3DS game. All right. Oh shit! Freaking recovery, man. I want to beat this. Oh, can't wait to play this on the console. <laughs> All right. You bastard, Mario. You little bastard. Oh, a Smash Ball. First Smash Ball. All right, how do I do Smash Ball on 3DS? Ah, oh, I did it, but get the hell out! I want to rematch that Mario. Yeah, it's only while like a okay, Sunday. All right, R. Get out. Arrow to the face, Mario. Yeah, I wish it was more than local wireless, but what can we do? I mean, it's Nintendo and they're making a demo. I mean, so many other companies, when they do demos or betas, they will put online in. Um, and I really do mean demos. I've had demos for mostly, I've seen it in racing games a few times, where the demo will have like a little taste of the online mode. Um, I'm trying to remember a first person shooter. That had a demo, not a beta, that had online in it. I just can't remember what it was. I think it was Lost Planet. It was one of those games. One of the was it Last Planet Two? I think that had a demo that actually had a multiplayer. But I might be incorrect on the game it is. But I play too many games to remember stuff like that. Mario versus. The 1v1 is really nice. Like, I actually do like that. So we're going to stick with that for right now. It's easy to see everything. So we're going to play 1v1 with my messed up analog stick. So once again, everybody joining the chat right now, I'm going to keep pointing it out. <laughs> Screw the hell up. So let's play with the new characters. Really hard to do smashes. Oh, I get a little air balloon. Okay, cool. So yeah, like I said, guys, I didn't look up any um like previews really before this game came out. So I'm really coming to this fresh. Home run bat. Yeah, mess with you, boy. Right now I'm playing with the computer at 5 difficulty because it's only one computer. It'd be Mega Man. I'll bump it up as I go. Woo! I like the villagers up B. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. What? Well, the net? Oh crap, I'm small. Eat up, eat up, eat up. So basically the bottom screen, guys, only shows information for the, um, your damage meter. Like a taunt. I really wish it was more than freaking 
such a short amount of time to play it though. Oh, I threw the bowling ball at him too. <laughs> hey dude, what's up bro? What's up epic uh, face? Uh... Um, can I play with no items? Uh... Press X to go to Omega mode when choosing stage. Okay, I'll check all that stuff out. Like I said, guys, my first hour playing it, so I don't know any, anything extra. Um, I don't see anything that lets me control items, guys. I can't even show you the time. Well, let me just go ahead and... This time I'll pick Mega Man. Let's put in um, three characters. Let's try a three-character battle. Link. And he said, hold on a second. Oh, you could change your oh, color. Okay, cool. My character of choice when I get the full game is going to be Ruben. Um, Fire Emblem literally was my favorite game <laughs> of last year. It's like my game I want to play. Okay, I'll try that out. So you press X. Omega mode. Okay. Let's do Omega mode. The spirit training can have several different choices. It could be Link Shop. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's Mega Man. I'm not really sure Mega Man's my dude. Damn, it's so really hard to do freaking charge attacks right now. Alright, forward. There we go. That's how I do it. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to play with characters that do charge attack on my 3DS. My 3DS is too messed up for it. Like, I, I'm trying to hold forward. Like, right now, guys, I'm trying to hold the forward button and press A to do the charge attacks. But with this analog stick, like... Oh, shit, why would they allow this to play with the D-pad? It's a perfectly good D-pad right here. Like... The D-pad is there. I don't want to taunt. Taunt's a waste of time. There better be custom controls in the full game. Please, Nintendo. I know... Mar I mean, Smash Bros. always had a lot of control options, so I hope it really does. I want to be, have the D-pad be able as a regular controller. I hope that is actually an option. Shit, Pikachu's kicking my ass. Yeah, Mega Man, I can't play as Mega Man at all right now. I'm trying my damn best to get this to work. And I'm not blaming the game for my control, my, my 3DS being bad. I'm just hoping that I can play with the 3DS um, D-pad. Just for me personally, I would always prefer to play with D-pad. That's just how I am. I'm the weird guy that when I used to play on the Wii version, I even played with the, the stupid uh, Wii remote sideways just because I prefer the D-pad when I can. That jump is nice. Mega Man? Hi, what do you guys think about in chat? Everybody in chat. Is the screen too small for you guys playing on the 3DS? Do you have a hard time seeing stuff? Right now, I don't have no problems. I think the outline on the characters has been working fine for me. Uh, it's not that... I've had my 3DS since launch day and I stream. I've played literally over a, a 2,000 hours probably at this point of Pokemon. I know I'm over a 1,000 hours because... I can't see my counter go up anymore for 3DS for Pokemon. It literally says 999 because of that stuck right there. So I don't know where else could it go. And Fire Emblem, I have hundreds of hours in that game. I can I've been play I played The Sims on the 3DS. I played I played the fighting game. I played Street Fighter on the 3DS. I played um Blaze Blue on the 3DS. Both the Blaze Blue games that came out. It's a lot of fighting games on the 3DS when they came out. I think that the 3DS actually is pretty good for fighting games because I played the Street Fighter game, played the Blaze Blue game, it all really worked well. But all after doing all that, all this time, yeah. Yeah, if you want to know where I have the analog nub, yeah, here it is, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, here, that's the analog thing. It's actually barren. 
I'm not sure if I could get a new one of these. If I can, then I'll try to use it. Yeah, see, that's the same thing I was saying. Like, I, of course, he's always able to prefer a small screen, a bigger screen, because the bigger screen just makes it easier on your eyes. But when I'm looking down right now, it looks pretty good. Um, obviously, you can't see it, guys, but I've been playing with a 3D slider on. The game looks quite nice in 3D. I like any game that is available in 3D. I'm surprised they actually have the game in 3D because, you know, there's always a lot of fear, like, about, like, oh, the lag and, um... The whole problem of having like you know frame rate issues when you play certain games in 3D, so on the 3DS. So I'm not sure how they're gonna work with that, but right now it's been working pretty good for me, guys. Um, I would like to get an XL, but like how they're getting the brand new XLs coming out in Japan this year, and the, the what they're called the new 3DS, which is a stupid name. They couldn't think of something more original than the new 3DS and new 3DS XL, or I think it's 3DS TT or something like that in Japan. No, it's LL in Japan. And because of that, I'm like, come on, Nintendo, get your original ideas up anyways. But to the point, right now, as you guys can tell, my 3DS capture card's on this small 3DS. And I don't have the money to go get another 3DS XL and get that capture card in as well. And then the new 3DSs are going to come out. And I'm hoping those are going to be able to get have capture cards on it. And if those ones can have capture cards, then I'll upgrade to a new 3DS XL with a capture card and that's probably going to set me back like 500 freaking dollars because you know the new 3ds is going to probably be at least 200 dollars and these the capture card this capture card costs 250 dollars to stream 3ds games which i'm making i'm not making money by streaming this right now on twitch guys i make zero money off of twitch unless somebody donates because i don't got that subscribe button i'm just doing this for the passion of low streaming and entertaining you folks out there right at least trying at least i try to entertain you while i'm failing the big thing I like about the new 3DS too, though, is that the 3D element of the game, I mean, of the system is going to look a lot better because right now, um, the 3DS, when you move it, even a little bit, you know, you lose the 3D effect, but I'm hearing on the new 3DS, it's going to actually have a better range of being able to see 3D. Mario feels awesome, by the way, guys. Mario feels great. So, like I said, right now, I'm looking at the 3DS, and I'm looking in 3D. Come here, Link. Mario feels right. Damn, I'm trying to get rid of him. Oh, there was a bomb! The freaking bomb! Damn it! Come here, Pikachu. Get out of my map. Oh, shit. <laughs> he got me. Okay, Link. Okay, Link. Okay, Link. out oh my god I can't see get out my Finally. oh shit I was about to go off link maybe me link one yeah um my personal best character would probably be Pikachu uh, because he's the easiest character to probably play with. Thunder! But, like I said, guys, I only play with friends. I'm just a f person that plays with friends. But the character I want to play with is that girl right over here. See her over there? Ruben? Female Ruben? Yeah. I love Fire Emblem Awakening, guys. Absolutely most surprising game I played of 2013. Fire Emblem Awakening was my game of the year. I mean, even with Grand Theft Auto, even with Need for Speed, with Dante, um, Devil May Cry, all those great games that came out last year, literally... Fire Emblem Awakened was one of my favorite games I played of all time. I absolutely love that game. And because of that, I'm dedicating myself when the real game comes out. And when the Wii U version comes out, I'm going to be playing with Ruben. Mega Man is cool, but Mega Man's not my thing. I'm going to play with the new characters, guys. 
just because I know that's what you guys probably would be like to see more than anything else because why not? Can we do teams at all? Let's bump up the difficulty. So in the demo, it doesn't look like there's any teams. Or it's, let me see if I change the color. Oh, look at the villager. Let's play with the female villager. Okay, Pikachu. So I'm going to turn off the 3D slider and I'm going to start actually looking at my um, computer screen. But like I said, the look of the game is probably not going to be that big of a deal for me for the size because I can see a whole game right in front of me because I have a big ass TV. I mean, I can turn it around to show you guys. With a capture card, you can display your 3DS on the TV so it looks perfectly fine that way. I just have a, still have a bad habit of looking down at the 3DS, which is probably going to take me a long time to get over. But like I said, I think the game... It's not hard to distinguish at all. Greninja! Oh yeah, Greninja's gonna be very interesting. Alright, anyways, what's, who's going on? I'm playing. Oh yeah, Mega Man. Eat that. Yeah, Little Mac should be easy. Interesting. Mega Man. Come here, Pikachu. Oh, oh, I tried to save myself. Pikachu shot me the hell off. Get out of the map, Link. It doesn't seem like after you do that arm um, hit, you could really do anything. Oh, that's a nice little attack. My fingers don't hurt though. That's something else I have to mention. Like, I thought I was gonna be really cramped while playing this on the 3DS, but actually, it's quite comfortable. Like, it's not like if it wasn't for my own problems with my 3DS analog stick, then the, the actual controls of the 3DS is pretty comfortable. I'm not having any problems. My fingers aren't getting cramped. I don't feel like it's on unfair how like close all the buttons are together. But the reason for that might just be because of the fact that um. Well, as you know, I said I played the Blaze Blue games, I played Street Fighter on the 3DS, and they were pretty good, so that might be the issue. Give me one second, my, um, Jack is calling. Yo, what's up, Jack? Um, it's only gonna be in Europe. Okay, I'll check it later. But yo, I'm streaming Smash Brothers right now to the th for the 3DS. The demo's out, my dude. Download it when you get home. Yeah, no, the demo's out, and it's really good. It's really good. You're going to like Mega Man, bro. It's, yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's, it's good. Uh, it's not that hard to see. The screen is not an issue. Size is not an issue. Do you have an XL or a regular 3DS? Well, it's not going to be a problem even on the regular RAM, and it's not like... It's, it doesn't hurt your hand at all. For me, it's been pretty comfortable. But, yo, let me call you... Um, You're on break right now? All right, so you call me up. Uh, I'll call you back in like an hour when I'm done streaming, all right? All right. So that was Jack, Jack Attack. He's one of the guys who streamed to my Twitch channel, and he's part of the Untile Game Show. One of my co-hosts, so shout out to him. Check him out. He streams Diablo and other PS4 games. Um, let me see what everybody says. I've been playing Smash all day now. Little Mac uh, dominates my mid-stage, Okay. How many times can you play the demo and is there online? You can play the demo only 30 times if you downloaded it from the eShop originally today. If you were one of the people who got the codes last week from the Nintendo promotion, you get to play it as long as you want. That's how it works. There is no online. The only mode you get right now is single player or group local. 
the local play is only with somebody you know in real life and i'm gonna have the matches between me and my friends i'm gonna get three of my friends together today and we're gonna all play the game locally and i'll try to record that later on today i'm not sure when we will stream that but they won't be off from work until around 8 to 9 p.m eastern standard time we're gonna come over to my house or maybe i go to their house whatever it might be and we'll put some smash brothers and make a video out of that all right guys so smash brothers video is definitely coming to my channel it's the untitled game show if you watch my stream for the first time definitely go check that out all right guys so that answers some some of you guys' questions. So let's get right back into the battle. I am playing as Mega Man. Right now I have the computers on. Eat that. I love the uh the, the leaves. Time. There was no reason for demo hype. Well, yeah, I gotta agree with you on that, bro. Um, the Nifty 750, uh, Smash Brothers is one of those games that don't really need a demo. People would have bought this game whether there was a demo or not. But it's a nice thing to be able to play a demo, especially of a 3DS game like like this, because Smash Brothers has not been traditionally on a handheld. So people, I'm sure, was wondering how the controls would feel, how would you able to adjust to a smaller screen, and I'm here to report right now, from what I'm playing with the demo, it's adjusting pretty well. I mean, it's not hard to see the characters, whether I'm looking at the 3DS, the 3D effects is pretty good. The controls right now seems pretty much fine, it's a standard issue, I mean, the right bumper is, um, I mean, your block and your dodge is there and everything, your grab is there. All your standard Smash controls are there. My biggest problem is the fact that they force you to use so far in the demo the D-pad as your taunts. I don't want to taunt. I want to just play the game. I would have preferred to let me use the D-pad actually as the moving around instead of the analog stick. Because my personal analog stick is broken as you guys can see right there. So I'm really fighting with that. But right now the characters are really clear to see for me. But maybe my eyes are better than other people's. Even though my eyes are quite messed up. I normally wear glasses. But... I can see pretty good without the glasses, so I don't have to wear them, let's say. So it's like it's not required for me to wear glasses to drive, to work, or anything like that. So that might actually lead into the fact why I could probably see this so clearly. And I'm always on my 3DS. Like I said, guys, I probably have put over 2,000 hours into Pokemon. Um, Fire Emblem, I put a lot of time in. And because of stuff like that, I think I've gotten used to the 3DS how it is. Aw, oh, damn. Uh, what, you, what game have you been playing, Reverse? The games that really made it for ha that my mind broke was the fighting games. So for everybody on YouTube, if you want to join in the chat, make sure you guys come to my streams. I usually announce on YouTube when I do streams so you guys can find out the information. Eat bowling ball, bruh. I like the villager. As you guys can tell, I'm, I like to be a character that's outside of the corners. I don't like to be in the middle of a fight because that's just dumb. Oh, I like that little boxing glove thing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like his little boxing glove move. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I get very animated, guys, when I'm doing a fighting game. I don't know what that does. It must be a counter. You see when he puts his hand out like that? I'm guessing it's a counter. Unless unless somebody in chat knows what is the villager doing? I don't I never really played much of Animal Crossing. I've tried it, but it's just not my specifically my personal game. So if somebody could tell me what does that little thing does? I'm trying to let myself get hit to figure out if it's a counter, but it doesn't seem like it is right now. Eat polling ball. Net. I wish I could get two people with the net. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Whew. 
Get that Pikachu. I almost closed my 3DS. Oh my god, that's the first time that happened. One time. Yeah, Super Street Fighter definitely could mess it up. Oh, so that's what B does. It puts okay, okay. Okay, so he can pick it up and throw it back on more of it. It's called a pocket. You can, uh, you can, uh, okay, okay. Like, all right, yeah. So thanks for letting me know, guys. I try to really avoid any, like, information about the game beforehand. So I don't even know every single character in the game. I don't know. It's just, I'm going to get the game, play the game, and have fun with the game. I just kind of avoided a lot of information beforehand, and that's just how it went. I was having fun with um, Mario, but let's go to um, Link. Link's another. Link's all around just a great character. There's nothing wrong with Link at all. But this demo really is missing the fact that you could play with um, real people because if you could, man, it really would change stuff up. It really, really would because the fact it's just different when you play in humans. You'll get better at the game, better, faster, all that good stuff. So I can't wait to play with my friends. I wish I could play with you guys in chat. I mean, it would have been nice if they even added. A limited online mode, so like, what? So Nintendo doesn't want people just to play the demo and play online, right? So why couldn't they do this? Let me, just let me speak to you guys right now, alright? Let me know what you guys think in chat. Nintendo could have kept the servers for the demos online open for one week. You could almost call it a beta online. A way to test the online mode, which is not a bad thing to do. So it would be the demo... But it has an online in it. The, de the online will be only open up for one week. So today's Friday. So t from today the 19th till next week Friday, you can play online with these five characters. It gives them a little stress test for the 3DS online. Um, and like if it has voice chat, I'm not sure if there's voice chat or any party type system in the 3DS version of Smash. But if there is, it will give everybody a chance to try it out, see how it works. And Nintendo will get some good data from that to prepare for launch. Because you know when launch day comes, everybody's going to be trying to play online. Because um, the truth of the fact is, a lot of people who played the original Smash Bros. like me, I've grown up. When I played the original Smash Bros. on the Nintendo 3DS, I mean <laughs> Nintendo 64... I was about eight or nine years old, right? That's when Smash Bros. probably came out for me. I think eight or nine. And I was a kid, played the game, got the game, it was a fun game, played with my niece and nephew. I went to Brawl. Brawl, I was in what? By Brawl came out, I must have been in uh, middle school, high school, maybe if I was late, late middle school, whatever year that was. So I was still in school. Now that this game comes, I mean, then the, uh, the Brawl came out. After Brawl, then the Wii came out, the version came out. Which is, um, no, Melee came out, sorry. Melee came out, then Brawl came out, I was in college. Wow. Melee, Brawl in college was great. Like, there was always somebody to play with. A lot of different people to play with. Brawl in college was great. Now, I am unfortunately grown up. I work every day. I try to play video games a lot, but my friends work. I literally only have three friends that I could probably get together who have 3DS that's going to get this game. My other friends are in other states, they are in school, they're doing whatever. We just don't have that environment anymore that can get people together to play games at any time I want. And because of that, I think the online mode being in this demo would give everybody a chance to try the game with their friends and just be a nice little addition. Just thinking. I play a Shulk, uh, Link is my favorite, so what there was a, a me in the... What do you guys think about the me? I think the me could become the hidden character that people like professional Smash Brothers players might really want to use because the me you get to customize your attacks. That could be a big game changer. I really think the me is going to be very, very dangerous. Like when people make their own me's with their own little twist to their me's, what moves they move, people are going to analyze all that stuff. I'm sure people are already analyzing like, oh, if I give the me this down smash with this type of attack, if he's a fighter type with sword type, oh man. Like, I love hearing about that stuff. I know I'm not going to be this guy to be able to pull all that stuff off. But I love seeing it. I love seeing the dash stuff. I love seeing people play high-level Smash. But in the end, I'm here to play with friends. <laughs> Pikachu is the man. You can't hate on Pikachu. In this demo, wise, Link is my favorite in the demo. Because Link is the easiest character to play in the demo on the 3DS. Because even on the 3DS screen... His movesets are just really easy to pull off.
He's he's lost 360 attacks. I can actually I feel like I can actually fight with Link. See, when I fight my friends, I'm actually gonna be using Link. Blocked. Oh, damn. I'm sorry for you guys. Nope, no, no, no. Get out, get out of the way, get out of the way, Link. Get out of there, get to the corner. I'm mad I killed myself. Stupid freaking analog stick. I couldn't get press up beat in time to really recover. Oh god darn it. End it off with a spin. That was a great sudden death, you gotta admit it. That was an absolutely excellent sudden death. Link! Yeah, I like Link a lot. The tier list, like, oh man, you're talking about tier list, guys. Ah, you're going way and above my level right now. Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys are going to be playing the game when it comes... Oh, well, obviously, all you guys watching probably are. Um, I'm gonna be I do streams for Pokemon like every single Sunday Monday Tuesday um, I'm gonna be doing Smash Brothers streams every one of those days as well So every single Sunday Monday and Tuesday I'm gonna be doing Smash Brothers stream for the 3ds I'm gonna be playing with you guys out there the subscribers the viewers So if you guys are interested in actually seeing me play Smash Brothers or playing with me or playing with other people in one day Because the way I do my stuff is I basically am a host that organize events for people in my community It's the Untitled Game Show and it's the Poke Fanatic community We love playing video games you might want to join it sometimes you see in chat There's a link to it and if you just want to come to a day where you can find people to play with Of course there's gonna be people like me who don't know how to play But there's gonna be some professionals there as well who played a little bit hardcore So you guys will be able to exchange friend codes play with each other and have some fun and that's why I do this stuff, guys. That's why I have a 3DS capture card that cost me $250. So I can play video games with you guys out there and discuss these topics with you guys. So hopefully some of you guys watching this will actually take the chance of actually subscribing. I mean following. I'm saying subscribing. This ain't YouTube. To the channel and seeing what I'm all about, all right? See what it's all about. Using power. I have the power. The power. One. My question is, I wonder what Nintendo's gonna be like. I'm gonna try to upload this video to YouTube. I wonder if Nintendo's gonna do like a copyright on me with this video. Are they gonna be like, oh no, you can't upload the demo footage. Like, oh no, people don't know what the game looks like already. I know there's already... And guys, just to let you know, if you're not YouTubers or like do anything with stuff, Nintendo's really mean with that stuff you sometimes you got to be a really big publication like ign or even other youtubers who like basically only do nintendo stuff to upload their stuff without problems but little guys like us all the time they just give hard times like when i first started doing pokemon they used to bother me but it seems like now they just don't bother me with pokemon stuff anymore which is good so i'm gonna try to upload these video this video right here for smash brothers and just see how that goes um if it doesn't go wor well, I might just end up turning off the sound of the music for the game. Because sometimes it's the music what they care about. You know, they don't want the soundtrack to be on YouTube. If they ever do put out... Oh my freaking god, I fell off the stage. If they ever put out like a mix CD with all the Smash Brothers music on it, they're going to be like, oh no, that's in our sound database. But hopefully it's good because the more people see this game, I, bet, I think it's just more advertising. Because I have a lot of um, 
Pokemon fans who are very young, they're like in the age of like 8 to 15, and because of that, a lot of them don't have money right away to buy the game, and they want to ask what to get for Christmas, holiday, um, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you might celebrate. And I know they were interested in Smash, and I'm sure when they see videos of me playing and may want to play with me, they might end up getting the game. So I think Nintendo should allow people to upload the demo and the full game footage when it's out without any problems. Because I know there were some issues with uh, Mario Kart, the videos you uploaded directly from the system. Nintendo wanted you to get all the monetization from that and all the crap. So I'm like, hope Nintendo is not really a hardball with all the stuff. And just allow people to enjoy the game and share with other people because it's only going to help promote their game. I'm sure... I'm sure some of you guys out there, maybe one or two of you guys who are not chatting or haven't downloaded a demo. Maybe you're at work, maybe you're not home and you haven't had a chance to come home and download a demo. And you're interested in playing it because you're watching the stream. Like, I'm sure that's happened. Let's pick Mario then. So we're going to go ahead and have one more battle. And then I'm going to end the video for YouTube, but I'm going to still stream, guys. So... For everybody here on Twitch, we're going to continue. And, but we're going to go to one on one. Oh, my 3DS is blinking red. My 3DS is telling me emergency, emergency, plug me in. So we're going to go back to one on one battles. The game looks absolutely awesome like that. And we're going to do Pikachu Mario because that's what you guys are talking about in chat. So guys, what is Omega Mode? You guys told me to press X. What is that specifically? As a Pokemon fan, obviously, Mar uh, Pikachu is my like character I love to death. I keep doing it the wrong way. He got you. Get out of the map, Mario. Damn, my headphones fall off. <laughs> None of us died. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> I guess we end it like that, guys. Mario and Pikachu right there. Pikachu! What do you guys think of my layout, guys? Everybody in chat and YouTube, do you guys like my layout for this game? Or do you guys prefer if you saw it full screen? The only reason I don't do full screen because one, it's a Twitch live stream, and I'm not a professional player that's going to be doing so much cool things that you guys need to see awful <laughs> but everybody on youtube i'll be back with more everybody on twitch stick around we got more coming peace out youtube next time on youtube you're going to be seeing me versus real people my friends yeah real matches against real people it's gonna be awesome absolutely gonna be awesome peace out youtube peace out like and subscribe support on patreon